Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Marshall or Footloose and sorry I took a break on uploading a lot lately. Um it's kinda gotten into the way of my uploading, but I still upload time to time whenever I can. So like I said, I'm not getting paid through YouTube to do the videos yet. But I'm trying to get up there. If I get up to a thousand subscribers, um uh, I will eventually get paid for YouTube, but David is, um, I want to say this is a speed bag, speed bag workout, um, for martial arts, you know, only thing about a speed bag, it's good for coordination with the hands, it's good with timing, it helps with keeping your hands up, it helps with, you know, finding your rhythm, um, especially when you're listening to music while you're doing the speed bag. Um, if you have good music to listen to, that's what I usually do. I'll put my headphones on, I'll just go to town on the speed bag. I mean, I'll work on the jab, I'll work on the one, two, or I'll work on the one, two, and the jab cross, then the one, two combo, or I'll work on, uh, um, the one two with the with the trapping hand and add another one two into it, you know, from Wing Chun. Or I might just blend it all together, kinda of make my own flow on the speed bag on what I do and what I know of it. Um, I haven't really learned much anymore on how to do things with the speed bag. Um, from time to time when I feel like, you know, when I see my watch my videos, me doing boxing on the bag. Um, sometimes I do have my hands, Tennessee's a little, little bit lower, but I've been working on trying to keep my hands up more higher when, when, when um, doing the bag and stuff like that. But the speed bag is a good way to train, train and, you know, Conditioning your shoulders, conditioning your arms, and everything else, and, um, and that's the thing. Most people say they don't need to speed that. And um, really, technically, boxing is the speed bag is essential for mainly boxing. But other martial artists incorporate it into their own training system, from like karate. Um, to kickboxing and stuff like that where they can, can condition their arms work on cardio too you know better on you know work on timing and more of rhythm and that's the thing with speed bag when you do the speed bag it basically teaches you about rhythm it don't really teach you about coordination it teaches you more about the rhythm of the timing of every beat on the bag that you're hitting on the speed bag when it, when it's kind of bounces to the board then it comes back at you you gotta find that rhythm you know it's kind of like you know when you go to a club you know you see this hot chick you know you go dancing with her well you gotta find that rhythm flow with the music to match her energy to dance out on the floor well, it's just like that in a way into the speed bag training. And so when it comes to um, speed bag, I mean, it's a great way to stay in shape. It's a great way to um, help, you know, work on coordination, timing, uh, help to keep your, have your hands up. And when in fighting, uh, plus um, it helps. Like I said, it helps with rhythm, um, it helps conditioning the shoulders and everything else. And as like I said, you know, I'm really, really sorry for not uploading a lot of videos lately because I've been so dang busy and um, trying to work on some new material as well and stuff like that, you know, try to work on some different things into my training and I just you know want to be a better person for you guys you know in my training 
I want to evolve within my evolve in my martial arts as well and stuff. So when um, I want to be able to express myself on my platform on what I do and my style, and that's the reason why I say you know my style is unique because it blends in with every style there is and it don't just blend in um, in just one system it blends in with all it blends in with boxing it blends in with um, Jikundo it blends in with Karate Taekwondo um, Wing Chun to um, Kali to um To like animal based martial arts or to um, from kung fu, boxing, uh, Muay Thai, kickboxing, um, all the stand up arts other than caparella. I don't mean I don't know nothing about caparella. I would like to learn that art, but there are no schools around me where I live at. But the only art, the only way I can learn it is <clears throat> learn it is. Um, go online and watch videos, but you can't really learn much off videos, um, you're more better off trying to learn and do it, um, from an actual instructor. Me, I worked on some new kicking combinations, and out in the air last night, and I just kind of want to work on my own things, you know, try to figure out what to do for my next video and stuff like that and and because I'm trying to work on new material different ways of attacking and um, I've been working on the spinning back kick and that's my newest technique that I've been kind of working on and that was my last technique that my sensei was teaching me He said, I know the spinning hook kick really good. He says, uh, only thing I need to do is do the spinning back kick. And that was my last technique that he taught me before his school closed and before he quit teaching. So I've been working on that lately because I've been trying to retouch up my techniques and everything on what I've learned over the years in martial arts, out of books, out of videos. Um, basically, almost every video is just the same to me online anymore because it's just taught differently and on just on how people do it. Um, but other than that, everything, every video is the same. I mean, everybody does it their own way. I mean, everybody can express things on videos anymore, and, and, and that's how we learn. That's how people save money, because some people can't really afford to go to a gym. And so, the only way they, they do it is that they'll look up things to do at home, and, and then they'll do it. And it's like, then they get so good at it. But the thing it is, they don't, they don't have that quality of the feel of the teacher, you know, pointing out what they're doing wrong. And, and that's the thing, you know, that's the only thing I hate about home training is that you don't, I don't have somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong. That's, it's just me, it's like, I just do it, you know, to the best of my ability. And... And if I can do it, I'll do it. But if I can't do it, I'm not going to worry about doing something fancy. I'm not going to worry about doing um, some of those fancy tricks that you see in movies or anything like that. That's just for show me. You know, none of that, <clears throat> none of that fancy stuff that you see in the movies, it's going to win a fight. You know, to me, you know, a winning a fight is staying simple as Stay in direct, stay in the simple direct approach. Because basically you work on your basics. 
I said, the basics is the foundation to any style of martial arts, and I don't care what it is. And if you know how to punch, you know how to fight. And if you know how to kick, you know how to fight. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. So it varies, you know. As uh, one of my senseis told me a long time ago, my Kung Fu sensei told me a long time ago, he was like, he asked me what was wrong with mine. And he said, I'm just having a bad day. And so he said, well, when you have a bad day, you must deflect that bad day. Kind of like a punch. And encounter it with another punch. And I was like, is this a metaphor or something like that? And he said, he's like, if you're having a bad day, always try to always try to redirect the negativity and turn it into something positive. And, and that's the only thing, that's the only thing I can say is, and he's right. And I helped a buddy out last night in a situation. I couldn't get it. I want to teach him. And I taught him that lesson. And he was like, he was kind of shocked on how much I knew about philosophy in life. And I said, yeah, I can always be there for people. But the thing of it is, people are always never there. When I need somebody in life, you know, nobody shows up for me. And that's what I'm getting tired of. And, but other than that, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of about done being nice. And even though I say it, you know, I'm saying that for a reason because every time when I'm nice to people, I always get crapped on and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I, I'm just going to just say water under the bridge, lesson learned, and not be nice anymore. And just be me and do what I do and focus on me more and not focus on others. So um, that's what I have to do. That's what I have to do. And like I said, this is not about me. It's about feedback. And like I said, feedback is a good way to stay in shape. Develop shoulder strength, arm strength, cardio, vascular system, you know, get the heart rate going. That's all it is. Assess martial art fitness. Signing out. Please don't like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.